Gotta have them with them. Hey guys, I uh, haven't got your pro here. Welcome to a quick guide, quick uh, co-op farming of Titan slimes. Uh, let me first explain, it's not a, not a video show off the skills or lack of, it's just rather another method of farming some Titan slimes, because we all know they're a pain in the ass to get. So this is a, to me, it's just a better, funner, easier method, where I don't have to farm a stupid enemy over and over, and, uh, you know, get picked up by the, what's it called, Dark Moon, die from the dark end, that shit just pisses me off. So anyway, let me get straight into the method I used here. First, you need to get a friend to help you. That's basically a must for the, this plan to work. Um, I used my friend here, Blubbery, to help me pass a high damage per second weapon. Chose the hammer for its low requirements and low weight. So it does a lot of damage very quickly, and I can use it basically at level, I think, one or two. Since we're going to be within the level range of one to ten ourselves, we'll need our partner to be equally low. Now, if you want your preferred weapon, and it's on, like, your level 200, say, and your friend's only level 1 to 10, what they're first going to have to do is they're going to have to go get those cracked red aisles right at the start of the game on the way to the catacombs. And just basically go straight into the catacombs, run in there at level 1 to 10 with the cracked aisles that they just picked up, and right at the first bonfire, just rest there, get your level 200 soul level um, that has not done the area boss, and get, him, get the low level to invade. Um, if you're lucky enough, like I was, You'll actually invade to level 200, your friend will invade him. Once you have, just drop the weapon, and voila, your level 1 to 10 now has your preferred weapon. Now that lower level's got this preferred weapon, it's time to give it back to the character that's going to do this run that you can see me doing right now. So basically what you need to do is get um, the person with the weapon and meet them at the chapel with the person, me, White Soapstone. Either one of them can have the White Soapstone since they not completed the, the chapel boss, which is the, the two gargoyles at the top, which is basically where this video starts. And once you have your weapon on the character that you want to do the run with, as is per video, just make your way here, as I have. You may also want to take off that uh, those boots, like, uh, it was a mistake that got me killed a couple of times, which you'll see at the end, I'll just add that to the, to the end of the video for you. And uh, once you have your slab, just rush back to your partner at the chapel, Basically, you want to trade in your weapon and your slab. The reason you want to do this is because you want to delete your character and you want to make a new one. And you want to get back to that chapel as fast as possible if you want to so. And while you're doing that, your partner will be the one that goes and farms. This uh, They'll go get the Titan on slab themselves. So you give them the weapon and the slab, they go do that like a relay. You go back and make your own character and then you just keep swapping it back and forth. The weapon and the slabs, and eventually over time your slabs will just get more, more, more. And then when you're done, you just trade it back to whatever character you want, and uh, easy achievements. Very easy.